Alright, what's up guys? Come back in overview. It's bad monkey. Do they have the Tentians against the North Mythical units? And this is gonna be freaking insane because I have so much content in this video. Alright, so make sure you watch it until the end. But first, let me explain to you what's gonna happen right now. I have here all my units from the Atlanteans. We have them on the right. Then we have, uh, I mean, the North on the right. Then we have on the left the Atlanteans. And I'm gonna put all the units from, as you can see here, the Classical Age, then Heroic Age, and then the Mythical Age against each other. And I'm gonna acquire one point for uh, each winner. So imagine here uh, the Automaton 1, one point for the Atlanteans. Then I'm gonna count them all and see who's gonna be winning the 1v1s. Then I have a war, it's gonna be a mini war, 5 uh, units of each uh, mythical unit here uh, from each civilization against each other. You're gonna see it guys, so we have a war and we have a 1v1, you can say tournament. Alright, first let's start by the classical age, I have here the automaton versus uh, Einherjar over here. Then I have Caladria versus Troll and I have Valkyrie against the uh, Promethean here. Okay guys, and by the way. You guys, sometime you're gonna, you're gonna tell me if uh, I'm gonna make just Valkyrie attack uh, Promethean or let's take an example uh, mm, this fight here, okay? Lampades against uh, Fenris Wolf, okay? You're gonna tell me uh, while Fenris Wolf is gonna be uh, going to attack uh, uh, Lampades here, she's gonna be taking advantage of that and start hitting the Fenris Wolf and this is gonna be very unfair. This is why I'm just gonna uh, position these two units like this very close to each other just to deny this distance between the two units okay so there's no distance nobody has an advantage on anybody okay guys this is a disclaimer anyways let's start with the classical age and before i start guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe because this is gonna be freaking insane all right guys let me run this so build the cinematic and we're gonna start by watching uh, give me a second so uh, in her jar against the uh, automaton and guys there's no range unit here so uh, yeah Nobody has advantage on anybody, like the Lampage versus uh, uh, their Fenris Wolf scenario. But as you can see, we have one win for in her jar. And by the way, guys, these units are raw, no upgrades, nothing, just grabbed from the editor. Anyways, so one point for the Norse here, troll against Caladria, and this is an obvious win, okay, for the troll because Caladria doesn't attack, she just heals. Anyways, I'm just gonna leave them uh, be, okay? But we have two points for now for the Norse. Then I have Valkyrie yeah, against Promethean yeah, here. Let's see it. Okay, this is a win for Norse. Norse, they won the Classical Age very, very easily, as you can see. Even the two puppies here that won't do anything. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, very few damage done to the Valkyrie. Three points acquired for the Norse. Anyways, let's move on and see the Heroic Age. But before, let me put the Satyr and Battle Boar close to each other so we can deny this distance. Alright, so Battle Boar against Satyr here, as you can see. Okay, this is an interesting fight, by the way. Alright, probably it's gonna be the most interesting fight in this video. But you can see that Battle Boar is advancing on the Satyr here. Probably it's gonna be one point also acquired for the Norse. Alright, very interesting as of now, guys. Okay, this is it. Battle Boar, one point. And then this is an obvious point for the Atlanteans because I had to put the Frost Giant against uh, the bird here because I have no other choice. And uh, here you go. We can just uh, make the Frost Giant advanced and he's not gonna do anything, unfortunately, guys. So this is uh, one point for the Atlanteans, I'm just gonna leave him. Then we're gonna go watch right now the Mountain Giant against the Behemoth. Two units uh, very good against building against each other, so nice equivalent. And as you can see, also it's gonna be an interesting fight, but I guess it's gonna be a win for the Mountain Giant. As of now, we only got one point for the Atlanteans, won by the Bird, and this is an unfair fight by the way, but you know, life is unfair as a whole. So, uh, one point for the north so probably I guess we can actually tell the winner from the 1v1s so the Norse are actually gonna win this 1v1 contest then we have the war I have no idea it's gonna be winning uh, through the war guys okay so uh, three points no two points here and three points here all right so we're five points for the Norse one point for the Atlanteans right now guys you have to focus with me because I have the Argus here, Nidhogg, 
and I have uh, Hika and Fire Giant and I have Lampades against Fenris Wolf. Right now guys, as you may know, and of course you know if you've been playing Age of Mythology your whole life, the Norse don't have a third unit in the Mythical Age, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is put this fight as a tie because Nidhogg actually if you advance to, I guess, uh, if you choose Hell at the end, you're gonna get uh, the Fire Giant, the Mountain Giant and uh, the Frost Giant, okay guys? And you're gonna get Nidhogg. So what I'm gonna put here guys, I'm not gonna put Fenris Wolf because he's against Lampades and Fire Giant is against Hika. So what I'm gonna put against the Argus, decided to put Nidhogg and since Argus is a instant uh, kill unit, alright? I'm not gonna put him against Fenris Wolf because it's gonna be a bit unfair. So maybe putting Fenris Wolf against Lampades is best than putting Nidhogg against uh, Lampades here. Even though Lampades she can actually fire at uh, Nidhogg, here the Argus can't fire at Nidhogg. But Nidhogg also is a is not a mythical unit, you can't produce him from a temple. He's very overpowered compared to the units we have here on the ground, so this is why I've put him against Argus. And nothing's gonna happen here, maybe Nidhogg is gonna be winning this. But because this is unfair, of course because we have uh, Nidhogg being not a normal mythical unit, I'm just gonna declare this fight as a tie. Okay, Fire Giant against Hika here. We denied this distance. And as you can see, there's a big, big difference between putting Fire Giant like here and Hika here, okay? So distance does matter a lot, guys. As you can see, Hika is winning this fight for as of now. Alright, this is it. Okay, one point for uh, the Atlanteans here. And uh, let's see right now Lampades against Fenris. Alright, so Fenris Wolf against uh, Lampades, and as you can see... Okay, I thought this is an easy win for Lampades, but we can actually see that Fenris Wolf is gonna be winning this fight. Okay, this wasn't predictable at all, guys. Okay, here you go. So, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 points for the North against 2 points for the Atlanteans, considering this is a tie, guys. I'm declaring the Norse the winner of the 1v1s, okay? Right now, let's move on to watch the war. Alright, welcome back to the war. As you can see, I have my units here positioned. A small pack, you can say, not a big one. And as you can see, there's a big, bit of confusion here. I'm just gonna clarify this for you guys. As you can see, I have all my units in the Atlanteans, but the Norse, as I said, when you advance to, through Hell, uh, you don't have a unit, like in the Mythical Age, a third unit. This is why I put only one Nidhogg, okay, against like here if you're gonna put Argus, 5 Arxes, 5 Lampades and 5 uh, Hikas, and only one Nidhogg with 5 uh, Fire Giants and 5 Fenris Wolves, okay guys, I think this is the best choice, this is very fair, so I'm just gonna build the cinematic and let's watch this. Alright, so... Okay, so as of now I have no idea who's gonna be winning. Okay, so probably the north are advancing in on this side here. I have Nidhogg is gonna be down in no seconds, here you go. Okay, we still have no idea who's gonna be winning. Okay, so it's becoming more obvious as of now, and we can say that the Norse are gonna be winning the war as of now. Okay, so probably not, guys, probably not. Okay, so that this is a turn point, a game changer here, guys, done by the Lampage. And I was wrong. Actually, the Atlanteans won the war, as you can see. Alright, so this is it. Congratulations to the Atlanteans. This was, oh my god, freaking insane. But at a point, I thought the Norse would take off this war, but, you know, turn point and game changers always happen in wars, so Atlanteans won the war. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, it's actually a tie, okay? So Atlanteans won the war and Norse uh, won the 1v1s. Alright, if you're looking for more videos, I have a playlist. Go ahead, click on it, watch all my Age of Mythology videos. 
and I have more episodes of this series, okay, coming up, the mythical unit fights, okay, so make sure you turn on your bell notifications and stay subscribed, and like my videos, of course, share them everywhere, you really help me grow when you share my videos, it's been Bad Mike once again, thank you guys for watching, see you next time.